It was about 10 years back when I got interested in robotic surgery. I was doing uh, endoscopic thyroid surgery those days and I found there was a program in Hyderabad uh, where uh, a surgeon was trying to or demonstrate uh, a robotic thyroid surgery. He has done only two, three cases by that time and I, I could see his hand movement and I could, f I, 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 I could judge that, uh, that a surgeon, even after doing oh, two or three surgeries, can demonstrate in the best possible way with the help of robo. So from that time I got interested, of, of course I have been interested in the last 10 years, but then uh, I got my hands on robo only about three years back. What was that like for you? Uh, it was a different experience. Uh, in fact, uh, I had been doing laparoscopic surgery uh, in thousands. Everyone says I have done 10,000, 20,000, so I must have done uh, nearly that, uh, that much amount of work. And that has been affecting my health and also my back. So I was looking for a solution. And uh, 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 let me tell you, I had been having a lot of spine problems and I was looking for a solution for my health and for the betterment of my people. And uh, the moment I touch uh, Robo, I, th I, 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 could con I could say, I could conclude, I could imagine this is for me and for my people and for my surgeons. Uh, what I did after that, uh, I started promoting robotic surgery in a big way. I started going to the smaller towns in India. Uh, in India, the smaller towns have a population of over 50 million. They are all small towns, but then they have a population of 10 million, 15 million, like that. So, and I started uh, robotic in uh, Rajamundri, in Telangana, another state, in, uh, in uh, UP, uh, there's a Lucknow. So all these towns, they were trying to buy robo, and then I used to help them in starting. Uh, another thing which I did was to start an association because I saw last 20-25 years there are urologists and oncosurgeons doing a lot of robotic work including the gynecologist. No one had thought of a uh, concentrated effort to spread it to teach other surgeons in a different way, in a very very methodical way. So I started an association. This association is called Association of Robotic and Innovative Surgeon. The difference was this association came from a comparatively smaller town in India, not from a mega city, and that opened up the eyes of the people. If uh, technology can go to smaller places, this man can take, so we can also take it. And that was changing time for people from cities uh, tier 2 cities you can say, tier 3 cities you can say, so they also started interest in this. Whereas the urology, gynae, onco were at the top, today more than uh, 600,000 cases are being done of general surgery. So Whenever we talk about a new innovative methods in surgery or in treatment methods, uh, it always uh, is something new, not only for the patient, it is also for the surgeon himself. Uh, many of my professors, when they came, they did not know where to watch, where is the robo, they had no idea. So I could guess that these people are so ignorant, forget about their society. And there I felt that the technology is simple, it may look very complex, but it can be, it can be adopted easily. And here I need to take this message to all surgeons, colleagues of the society. There are senior surgeons and junior surgeons who are undergoing training. And uh, I started working with my team, with surgeons across the country. So I choose about 10 uh, surgeons and took them as the founders of the association. And they, they were initially the first batch of mentors. I believe Mentorship is very, very important to train a surgeon or to train a team of the surgeon, not only the surgeon. Surgeon training is, for me, is not important. It is the surgeon, the scrub nurse, the assistant surgeon, 
all of them need to be mentored and trained. And here we wanted to start uh, training in the form of a proper one-year fellowship so that you are safe legally. Legally, we see everywhere whenever you want to bring a new technology, there are many ethical things which you will have to look into, which come in, uh, which you may be asked questions tomorrow. And being a founding president of an association, I'm also answerable to the society, to my surgeons who are getting trained. So today we are running programs. We have 30 mentors from 30 centers in the in India, including in uh, Middle East, Dubai we have centers, so we have centers outside India also where we have mentored, mentors. These mentors, what they do, once a surgeon has attended all the dietetic sessions, has attended physical te technical training programs, he has attended cadaveric programs, these are all a part of our modules. Thereafter, he's, he's already working with one mentor on some research which he needs to publish or he needs to present at one of the meetings in front of us. So the, after these four modules, he goes to his mentor and uh, observes at least 20 cases. If the mentor is kind enough, he might give him hands on. And that's how we are running uh, in India. And it's a global body in, in the world. Uh, the next thing which I did was collaborating this mentorship and this fellowship program with the Royal College of Surgeons Edinburgh. And today, this fellowship is also collaborated and available on the website of the Royal College. A simple cholecystectomy became more simpler for us because ergonomically it was superior and it has all the benefits of uh, what you expect from a robot. This symposium is an, it is an eye opener, is of great value to all of us. When we become clinicians, mostly if, the, if one is a urologist, one is a gynecologist, one is a general surgeon, or we are all uh, concentrating only on our efforts in our subject. The moment we attend such meetings, such meetings take you to a different level. You learn from other specialties what they are doing. I was, I'm, I'm astonished. I have gone through some of the videos as one of the juries, and I was astonished at the type of work people are doing. And this is, this meeting definitely is, uh, is a learning experience for most of the attendees, including me. I am being a jury. I've, I've definitely learned. I, since morning, I've seen beautiful programs on 3D printing, on artificial intelligence in robotics. What not? So this is just unbelievable program. The future robo should be um, multi-quadrant, should be less bulkier. Uh, that is one. And I feel there's a lot of future of SP robo, a single port devices. The moment you are offering something uh, which you say is superior to multi-port laparoscopic surgery, at least first question the person wants is, is it less invasive? Is it less traumatic? And a society at large looks at the, at, the, at the keyholes or at the ports or how many ports you are making. I think future belongs to smaller devices which should be, we are coming up already, uh, Da Vinci is coming up, and maybe um, a single port devices has a great future. <music>